In the last lecture we completed orthogonal signals and in this lecture we will solve two problems based on orthogonal signals. We need to calculate the average power, the average power P and total energy, total energy E of the following signals. First signal is XT, it is equal to 2 cos 2 omega naught T plus 45 degrees plus 3 sin 2 omega naught T plus 45 degrees. And the second signal is yt, it is equal to 2 plus 4 sine 3 omega naught t plus 35 degrees. I will first calculate the average power and total energy of signal xt. Solution number 1. Signal xt is a composite signal composed of two different signals. Let's say the first signal is x1t and it is equal to 2 cos 2 omega naught t plus... 45 degrees and the second signal is x2t it is equal to 3 sine 3 sine 2 omega naught t plus 45 degrees we will first calculate the average power of signal x1t and signal x2t you can see signal x1t is a periodic signal and signal x2t is also a periodic signal therefore the total energy e1 of signal x1t is equal to infinity and the total energy of signal x2t e2 is also equal to infinity periodic signals are power signals and in case of power signals total energy is equal to infinity let's calculate the average power of signal x1t average power p1 it is equal to a0 square divided by 2 a0 is equal to 2 so p1 is equal to 2 watts now we will calculate the average power of signal x2t p2 is also equal to a0 square by 2 a0 in this case is equal to 3 therefore p2 is equal to 4.5 watts x1t and x2t are orthogonal signals because sine and cosine function with same phase and same frequency are orthogonal we have cosine and sine functions frequency is same and also the phase therefore x1t and x2t are orthogonal and from the property of orthogonal signals average power of signal xt is equal to p1 plus p2 p1 is equal to 2 watts and p2 is equal to 4.5 watts so px is equal to 6.5 watts this is the answer and the total energy the total energy ex of signal xt is equal to e1 plus e2 e1 is infinity e2 is also infinity therefore ex is infinity so this is how you have to solve the problems in which signal is sum of two orthogonal signals let's move to the second problem solution number two in this problem signal yt is equal to dc value plus sine function you can see yt is equal to 2 plus 4 sine 3 omega naught t plus 35 degrees 2 is a dc value dc value and 4 sine 3 omega naught t plus 35 degrees is a sine function and uh, in the last lecture I told you if we have DC value and sine function then these two are orthogonal signals therefore integration from 0 to t DC value is a periodic signal with undefined fundamental period so we will perform the integration from 0 to t to 4 sine 3 omega naught t plus 35 degrees dt is equal to 0 this is the condition of orthogonality and dc value and sine function satisfies this condition so we will directly find out the average power of signal yt py it is equal to p1 plus p2 p1 is equal to 2 square p2 is equal to 4 square divided by 2 when you solve this you will have 12 watts 
as the value of py now we will find the total energy of signal yt the total energy ey is equal to infinity because dc value dc value is a periodic signal and therefore e1 is equal to infinity sine function is also a periodic signal therefore e2 is equal to infinity ey is equal to e1 plus e2 e1 is infinity e2 is also infinity infinity plus infinity is equal to infinity so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one